All right, guys, they're playing some Kinja top lane versus GP, and this game, we're running a PDA, a Triumph, Alacrity, Cut the Grass, Biscuits, and Cosmic. This game, I'm going to show you how to carry with Kinja top lane. It's going to be a fun one, because I'm uh, planning on going with a pretty broken build. I'm uh, planning on going Blade into Trinity Force. And Trinity Force in the current state is, like, really good. I've actually been really liking the current state of, of Kindred in general because uh, on hit items has already been like broken for a long time. But if you go now uh, Trinity Force in the current meta, you're going to do some insane damage. Specifically on your Qs and everything because you Q all the time. So you can proc the Sheen all day. Nice one. This matchup is kind of hard because whenever I try and poke him, I always get inside auto range. Or inside like Q range, I mean. And inside barrel range. So it's going to be uh, a pretty tough one. We'll see how this is going to go. Ooh. This is not bad. Yeah. Didn't get too much out of this one. They have a Belfet in the jungle, so that's going to be challenging for me certainly won't be easy but we'll figure it out we have lots and lots and lots of kiting to do this game in order to win got to pick the best times to kite as well i'm uh, not necessarily scared of the cues that much i'm scared of those barrels bro i gotta outplay those barrels all day Gonna be a tough one. I think Belfit's like probably panting topside. I'm uh, pretty confident in this actually. Might have to play it a little bit safe. Just a little. Because I want to try and like buy the Berserker's Greaves with my first backboard. It's like a long road, but we'll get it. Belfit shows up in mid lane. Nice. An enemy has been slain. An has been worth slain. it. I got my PDA proc. I'd say worth 10, 10 out of 10. That's really good. I'll take that push once more. Ah, nice try. Nice try. Okay. Wait a second here. Yeah, that sucks. I was trying to get the third auto. Would have been perfect. Hmm, my Q didn't land. I actually went to the creeps instead. I'm like 500 away in order to buy the item. So we're slowly getting there. Need a little more. This guy's uh, he's got teleport, by the way. Definitely good to know. Slowly starting to run out of mana here. The biscuits have been doing a great job so far. Actually. Ah, it's okay. I take the damage, but it certainly isn't going to make any difference for me. Uh, I think we can probably dive this guy, but I do need my... Uh, my jungler. Hmm. We'll show for another one. Belfet's in the bottom jungle. Nah, he will back anyway. Tried it out. I don't think he's staying around. Very, very much doubted. Yeah, yeah, that's the teleport. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's actually go for Berserker's Grease right now. And after that, we're going to start building Blade. Let's go two pots as well. Always appreciated once we get that. Um, I will buy another Concha Ward. That will also help with my lane. Let's go. This guy has a Sheen Longsword, which means that his barrels and his Qs are going to do some pretty insane damage. 
So now's the time to be very careful. Because the way how I used to trade against him probably isn't going to work anymore. At least I suspect it won't because his Q does way more damage than my auto attack for sure. So now it's time to be a little bit more safe. We'll have to respect him a lot more, most likely. Go for autos that we can, but we'll see. This is where things get very difficult for me. Staying outside his Q range is going to be my best friend this game. For sure. Okay, let's kind of hold it like this. I think we could probably could get like a lot of kills this game. Because this guy does play super aggro. In terms of like his positioning. He might go for the cannon. Maybe. Aha. Yeah, I suspected. Of course, there's got to be that barrel right below the... Uh... Oh, no, there's another Q. Yo, this guy is like ultra aggressive in terms of like positioning this guy is literally standing in front of my tower right now for like two minutes long not bad we're gonna get kills this way all right here we go nice we maybe we can dive uh, we can probably dive. Here we go. Hmm. That's one. Eh, this might not work, actually. It's like one auto. Perfect. Really, 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 really good. I'm very happy with the outcome of this fight, actually. And we take that one, and now we actually go for the reset. Alright, now we're going to get a little bit more strategic in terms of, like, what we're going to be maxing right now in terms of my abilities. Um... I think what I will end up doing is actually maxing my W, but it really depends. Wait a second. Let's go for this one. Let's go for lifesteal. I need lifesteal right now more than ever. And let's get back. Yo, Desti, thank you for the sub gift, man. Thank you for sub gifting, man. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, now we're going to get a little bit more strategic. I think I'm going to max my W. We can also max my E as well. But I think personally that maxing my W is far more valuable than anything else. So I think we're going to max my... Uh, probably my W. Kind of like both to be honest. Hmm, we can outplay this. I got a rep buff. Nice. Excellent. Alright, let's push. See that damage? That's like the type of damage you can do if you're playing Kinja top lane. Because um, you no longer rely on the XP from the jungle. Like if you're playing Kinja in top lane, you actually have more XP for yourself. And you actually have like a level lead against your opponent. Which you normally actually don't have when you play Ginger because you're playing Ginger Jungle most of the time. And that makes this champion far, far, far stronger than what he, what the champion should be like, right? Let's see here. Oh, I'm dying to the tower. Excellent. Hmm. They'll hit, nice. 
Okay, this guy's gonna die for sure. Hey, yep. That's another one. Now oh, that's hard push. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Hmm. Well, I got him. <laughs> but I'm also feeding. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I'd say worth it. 10 out of 10. I would do it any time again. <laughs> I would do it any day again, bro. No problem. All good with me. <laughs> Okay, I should have I should have had the lock on on the on the jungler. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's go again. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock the jungler in as soon as I can next time. But first, I need to lock it on GP. We're gonna be farming GP for a stack here. Oh, he's walking. Okay, no problem. It's all good. We'll push this in the entire way. And then we'll be looking for jungle camps. I'm not really focusing on jungle camps in terms of stacks. Because as like Kinjo top lane, you typically don't get stacks. Like, you can go for these stacks, but... Most of the time, it's obvious to when you're gone. Because if you're not pushing the lane, you're basically out of like map roaming around. They know that you're roaming. So, you have to be very strategic in how you also get your stacks. Because obviously, you don't want to make it like too obvious, right? Ooh. Well, free stack today, I guess. Nice. Free stack. I appreciate it. Nice. Now let's see if we can play out another fight here because everybody's missing. And we got another one. Thank you very much. Oh, I forgot, bro. I didn't get the stack. Oh, no. I didn't lock in GP. Ah, oh, man, I regret that so much. I regret that so much. I am not happy with this action. Will she die to the wave? Nah. Bro, I'm sad, man. I am really sad. I'm upset. I needed my stack, bro. It was going to be so free. I could have had three stacks now. But yeah, it is what it is. That's unacceptable, okay? Don't make the same mistake like I do. For anybody who wants you to do this. You gotta lock in that champ, man. You gotta lock it in. You gotta, you gotta do it. That's unacceptable. Alright, let's go for Ruby Crystal. I can't wait to get Trinity Force. An enemy has been slain. Let's pick up the uh, red buff real quick. All right. If I if I forever forget again to lock it in, I will quit League of Legends, bro. That's unacceptable. It's like forgetting an item. You absolutely cannot forget it. If I forget now, bro, I won't forget it. I know for sure. I think we get probably catch. Um, will I get her? Ah, I could have had her. Actually, being honest here. Ooh, nice. Still got her. I'm quite happy with this. 
Can I get some more jungle camps though? Yeah. There's also a blue buff that I can take. I really like the design of like Kindred in general. I don't know. Such a unique design in my opinion. Wish there could be more champs similar to this. I think if I if I were um if I were like a main jungler like instead of a top lane main Kindred would probably be one of my mains. That's a good chance. Because uh, Kindred has actually previously been in, in one of the like champion pools that I was dreaming of. Like, the what if, right? The what if you are like a jungle main, right? Kindred would definitely be in the in the three champions that I would actually start maining if, um, if I were a jungle main. There's no doubt about it. I really, really, really like Kindred. That's also partially why I play Kindred top lane too. And it works really well on top of that. Hmm. I'm getting uh, into a 1v2 situation right here. Maybe. Oh, I got it. Okay, so let's get ourselves the Trinity Force. And let's get back. Nice. Uh, next item we go with is going to be a Kraken Slayer. I think I will actually go for attack speed. I prefer attack speed way more here. And let's go. Thinking about running topside, actually. Hold on. Hey, we're about to get a free stack. Hold on a second. Let me get it. Nice. Free stack, man. You can't go wrong with this. I'll take that any day. Can I actually get another stack on Thresh, maybe? Because I do know he's overextending. Yeah, I got him at least. Thank you. Free stack once again. We have now four stacks so far. And maybe we're about to get another one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this game is gonna be way too easy. We're chilling. Get that one too. Back to Balin. I really, really like Blade of the Rune King with Trinity Force. It's such a good combo. And then Kraken Slayer, of course, with the own hit. I think it would be absolutely hilarious to once again also get like uh, Rapid Fire Cannon for the long range autos, but it's not something needed. Not really. Hmm. Oh, so beautiful. The attack speed feels so good. Thank you very much. Hmm. Well, goodbye. Too bad. Let's get a Kraken Slayer. And... I think next item, I'm like... Kind of thinking a little bit about going for Static Shift. But we can also decide to go for the Storm Razor. I like that item too, actually. Either Storm Razor or Static Shift. I kind of like both of them, actually. They both provide a perfect uh, 
synergy with my with my champ. I'm thinking more towards static shift though. A little bit more. I think I would prefer this. Hmm. Hmm, hard choice to be made right here. I don't know. I'm gonna start building this one first. All right, let's go. Yeah, you got you guys are right. I, I end up like not getting the stack on GP or Katarina for using the thing too early. That's right. Your next I guess this guy will probably get away. He knows that I locked him. Oof. Alright, cool. I got him. Hey, yep. Now this is a... Uh, now this is a stack that I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't I didn't use the stacks properly before, so I didn't get like two of them. But then again, like it's got like a, a small thing to it, like if you use it, you'll actually make it obvious. Wait a second. Oh, that guy's gonna die. Ah, this game is done, man. Too strong. My teammates included. Good sidestep. Ah, uh, could burst him technically. Goodbye. He actually jumped out outside of my ult range. So that was another free one. Oh, the damage on Kanger is so good. Hmm. Saved you. Yep, it's over. GG. Hey, this is Kinja Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.